Hey everyone, it's Ellen from Rhapsody Music Lessons and out of the all-in-one course book one for the beginning pianist, on page 50, we've got Row, Row, Row Your Boat. I'll leave a link in my description as to where you can find this book. But my beginner students, and I've got Spencer in mind as I'm making this recording, um, once you get to page 50, you're playing not based so much on finger numbers, but you're reading off of the grand staff. And this is a huge uh, moment for my piano students because they're not just relating notes to the numbers given to them, not only in their music, but one, two, three, four, five, your five finger numbers, but they are beginning to track the music on the staff learning about the lines and spaces prior to getting to this page. And although the music isn't played with both hands at the same time, this is getting students prepared to do that. So I'm going to give an example of row, row, row your boat, not only for Spencer and some of my other beginner students, but for anybody else out there who needs a little help with this piece. I'll leave a link, as I said, to this book in my description. And if you find my videos helpful, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like and subscribe. I'm just gonna switch my camera angle now. You're in C position. I always refer, by the way, to this. These books are great because they've got this, and I call it a finger map. This shows exactly where the fingers on each hand are placed and what the key names are, and they correspond directly to the notes. Okay, row, row, row your boat. page I think I will play this one too. It's called a happy song. The hands are in the same position but what's happening here is you are starting with your left hand and switching to the right all in the same line. Starting with the left here on the second line switching to the right ending with the left. Here is a happy song. Switch right Hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you next time and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.